welcome back to another video and this one's a long one i had to cut out so much i think i'm gonna make a raw unedited version and upload that to the patreon so if you want to watch like an hour long video of me just drawing because i filled up the last six pages front and back of the pages in my sketchbook i did these all in one day i was just like i was just like i need to get these spider-man prints done so let me doodle and get the creative juices flowing figure out the styles and the shapes and honestly i think the end product with the painted textured look using these uh artex markers they're like butter i always say it, they're like butter but literally i don't know there's no other paint pen i've used that can write on regular paper printer paper sketchbook paper without eating it up these just like coat the paper like perfectly and i was able to get a nice little texture so that's what i'm doing i'm filling up the last six pages technically 12 pages of my sketchbook using these markers prepping for a convention thumbnailing some print ideas just getting it all out on the paper and it turns out some of these sketches i like so if you want to see the full unedited raw version i'm just going to mute the whole video and add music to the patreon version but it's going to be long it might be over an hour so if you guys want to watch that go ahead also on the patreon i'm going to add some scanned in pages from my sketchbook that way you can see like the details and all that if you want to if that's anything it's going to be free i'm gonna put them up for free on my patreon just it's easier to put them on patreon for everybody so if you want to go check that out and i hope you enjoy this 30 minute long it's pretty long i'm just i'm not gonna include every single drawing that i did like every little step because it's like so long and i try to keep the asmr sound but for some clips i had to mute them so i hope you guys enjoy it if you guys watched the whole thing uh leave a comment like uh i'll pop in at the end and i'll say i'll say what to comment if you watch the whole thing <laughs> but my next video will be stockton con i have that this weekend so on monday's video it'll be a con prep and doing the actual convention and uh, I have a couple new prints for this convention. Let's see how it goes. I'm hoping it's good. I'm trying to bring some original art. I'm just not finishing up the original art yet, but I'm hoping to have some original art for that show. So thanks for being here. Thanks for all the love. Thanks for all the comments on the last video. Thank you, Patreons. I appreciate it. Please grab your sketchbooks or your iPads and just draw along with me. Put me on in the background. We're doodling. We are realistically filling up a sketchbook. Uh, this isn't final art. These are just sketches in the sketchbook. All right. Have a good one. Thank you for being here. Peace out. Bye. I'm going to pop in at the end. Okay, bye.
that and the kids listen to you. Hey, it's me again popping in one more time. I just had to tell you my thought process on this. I went in here. I was just thumbnailing, sketching, doing like random doodles of like Spider-Man. I didn't want to look, what is the word? Anonymous, atomically correct or whatever. I wanted to look more like a cartoony style, but then I started just doodling a little bit more and then I wanted to keep the shape. Cause you know, Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man, he has like that square like draw, like you can tell he has a facial on. And then the Andrew Garfield one, I feel like the top of his head is like bigger, like it's wider. I don't know how to explain it. And then Tom Holland is just like super round. So I wanted to capture those features and I was like, you know what, these look kind of clean. Let me try something. So I started adding like texture, more texture. So I use like four different reds. I use like an orange and like a yellow. But for the Tobey Maguire's, I use more orange because usually when you see Tobey Maguire, he's like, I feel like he's more in an orange environment. And then Andrew Garfield is more in a blue environment. And Tom Holland, I don't know, his colors are just like, when you watch his movies, they're just like, I don't know, super saturated, I guess. Uh, but yeah, that was the goal here. Just just getting that texture and then, and then I ended up liking these and honestly this one right here I think I might make this into a print because I like this one a lot I think I'm gonna add more background to it though and do something with it because this one to me Better than I thought it was just a doodle. It started as just a doodle and now I love it and it might be something So if you guys like this one, uh, this the high-res scan will be on the patreon uh, that's all I had to say for this one. Uh, I might pop back in again. I don't know. Uh, I'll think about it if I'm feeling good or if I'm feeling like talking again. Uh, okay, that's it. Bye. <laughs>
It was, but I didn't know. I also had great grandparents. My my mom was awesome, so it was balanced. But it did hurt, and I think I think I was always motivated with a chip on my. I'm actually grateful for it because I think I always had a chip on my shoulder to say like, let me show you that I'm gonna do this. And I'm also a very stubborn person. I get bored easily. I don't like doing anything that I'm bored with. I you know like I get bored of what I do. Like I I'm like as soon as I get good at the at the block prints and people like it, I'm like what else. You know what I mean? And so, right, like, right. gotcha. I was yeah. going to say, just making a block print, if you get bored easily, doesn't sound like yeah. a good way to go. No, like, I, I want to achieve something, but once I feel that I've achieved it internally, I don't need yeah. to do it anymore, is how my brain works. My yeah. brain is always, like, five years ahead of where I'm at. Hearing, I enjoy. There's another this aspect, is too, is that we're, yeah. we are, as creators, more invested in what we're working on, and so when you're... Yeah hearing music or seeing art you probably if you're anything like me you're just like hey good on you man keeping that shit going like yeah. it's different it's different yeah. you're right we are artists we're always looking to grow and change and try new things and then we have the the consumers or the fan base which when they find something they like it they a lot of them seem to want that consistency so the challenge for us is how do we continue to grow while without losing the audience and, and that's something i've i've been really working i'm so in love with this drawing style that i want to just hold it and like like don't you fucking change it's perfect <laughs> but you know what i mean and so like the difference is that if, if mike mignola had a podcast and i got to funny enough i got to like i weaseled my way into having a like, two-hour conversation on the phone with him in like 2005 i interviewed him and by the time we put out something that you really love that's the result of toiling. That's not like right. the arrival, it's the result. I'm like, okay, that's yeah. usually the end. When you guys start digging something, I'm done with it. You know, and that's a yeah. hard thing sometimes to articulate, but just doing this is the secret and just explaining that to people. You know, I, I, that's been the hardest thing in my, in my short lived career so far is explaining how I'm going to continue being the artist and work behind the scenes on things. I, I, at Comic-Con, I went to San Diego Comic-Con not knowing what San Diego Comic-Con was in 2002. Remember, pre-YouTube, yeah. pre, like, it, it, you know. And I walked in, I'm like, that was like my first convention ever. Okay. Like, for a comic, okay. what the? And so I went directly to meet Mike Mignola, who I, I bought a, an original Mignola illustration with all nice. the money I had for the whole weekend. And uh, it was like 500 yeah. bucks at the time, and oh uh, which it's is worth a steal so now. Much more now. Yeah, yeah, it's worth so much more. And, uh, <laughs> and he was like, he was very like, hey, thank you so much. And I was just still like, and he would like just paint it on the spot there, painted with cell vinyl paint. Yeah, oh my paint. god, I remember watching him paint with that cell shit, cell vinyl yeah. stuff. And, Beautiful and paint. So, on one hand, exactly, on one hand, it's like the put your balls on the table and go, let, <laughs> what do you want? Let's go. And the other hand, it's like fully painted. You know, it's not even, it's like Sumier. He's not even like sketching. It's just like, ch -ch 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 -ch. and then like blow drying and then boom, 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 boom. There you go. And it, when you get it, you're like, this is more impressive than anything I could have gotten at the show floor for three times the price. And, uh, and so there was that aspect of the confidence, the, the, the ability to just tell. It's me again. Uh, I hope you like the little podcast section from the Ink Pulp uh, YouTube. They talk a lot about like art stuff, and I I love it. And I just I was just listening to them while I drew today, and uh, so I just cut the video to the parts of the drawings that I thought fit the video. But so they kind of didn't make sense. But if you want, go watch them. They're tight. They're dope. They're sick. Uh, I'll put the link to the video I was watching in the description. But uh, yeah, anyways, this these two, next two pages, three pages actually, like, I was just kind of doodling trying to get these pages full, so I had no idea what I was going to do, but I knew it was going to be Spider-Man related. I knew I had to include Miles. I wasn't expecting to draw a homemade suit to McGuire, but you know what? I kind of like that one. And I think that one will be a dope sticker. This one I'm saying, I'm just doodling. I'm not going in there with ideas to make physical art anything tangible. I'm just going in there like, I need to get this idea out of my head so I can incorporate these concepts to my prints. But it turns out these ones, it's just something about these markers. Like you can get a sketchy look or you can get like a clean 
smooth look but i love the sketchy look you guys already know that so i just went here in here sketched made my lines made my colors pop off the lines made my lines off the colors made everything all weird and goofy and messy but it just came out like like butter that's all i'm gonna say i need a shirt that says butter or something like that so let me make a bro make me a butter here please anyways these next couple drawings okay they're sketchy but you're gonna notice i start adding more colors more texture like stuff that shouldn't even work like purples and yellows and blues and reds it's just adding layers and layers on top of each other and i found out that if you add like a color a dark color underneath and you put a light color on top it kind of changes the whole glow of the color so i added like a gray for the eyes but then i went over it with like a off white and it gave it kind of like a yellow tint and i love it and then i love spider-man with yellow eyes i don't know about you guys spider-man with yellow eyes is my favorite thing so my next drawing after this toby Maguire half body drawing is probably my favorite drawing in my whole sketchbook and you guys are gonna see why after this drawing i'm gonna have one more drawing in here it's gonna be super short a super short clip of me drawing it because i'm gonna save it for the patreon and then you'll see the last page in the patreon and then that'll be the end of the video long 30 minute video the secret word if you comment the secret word will be, hmm, Miguel, because we didn't draw Miguel. Just call me Miguel, and I know you watched the video, okay? That's all you gotta do, Miguel. Yeah, I like that. Anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm probably not gonna talk no more the videos. I'm just gonna cut it after that last drawing, and I will see you guys on the Patreon, or I will see you guys on Monday. All right, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Shout out to Artex for these markers. These markers are sick. I recommend them highly recommend them if you guys want to give them a look i'll put a link in my description also for these i don't get a cut this isn't sponsored by them or anything but i truly love these markers i can't recommend them enough i need more i want them to send me more i'm probably gonna get some more i need more i can't stop thinking about them okay bye